When a modern young couple can't say goodnight, sometimes an old-fashioned couple can help with a gentle hint. Doris, it's 12 o'clock. Shouldn't you be saying goodnight to Dexter? I'm leaving right away, Mr. Archer. <laughs> you know, Harry, that's what I like about Dexter. When it's time to say goodnight and leave, Dexter leaves. He's a wonderful boy. Dexter's all right in my book. No subterfuge, no artifice, straightforward and honest. That's the kind of a boy he is. Sometimes old-fashioned parents are more modern than you think. <laughs> tomorrow after school. Now, tell Marty and Bob and Jane and Sylvia. Fine, I'll see you later. Bye. Hello? Winky? No, there's nobody here by that name. Oh, but Daddy. Hmm? Hello. What? Oh, you are Winky. Hi, Winky. Who are Imogene, Pamela, Sylvia, Jane, Rocky, Celeste, and Winky? Friends of course, I guess. Winky? Well, I'm sure I never met any of them. Especially this, uh... Winky? <gasps> Rocky. <laughs> well, Harry, Corliss is growing up. And her circle of friends is growing. I'm sure they're all nice kids. Oh, yes, I'm sure they are. But as parents, we ought to know Corliss as friends. Say, maybe we ought to give them a party. Well, maybe we should. After all, we haven't given a party for Corliss for quite a long while. And it'll be a good way to meet her new friends. They'll have to be tactful about it. We mustn't let her think that we're trying to interfere in her, in her social life. Uh, well, we'll lead up to it in the... Uh, a roundabout way. Yes, be diplomatic. Yeah, trust me. She'll have her party and she'll think it was her own idea. I know this is awfully short notice. Oh, Corliss, I... And I know it's asking a great deal. Corliss. But, gee, I certainly would appreciate it. Corliss. Well, I was wondering if I could have my friends over there. Uh, Corliss, I... Oh, but it's been such a long time since I've had a party. Corliss? Yes, Corliss. You may have your party tonight. Corliss, I... <laughs> oh, sure, of course, of course. Of course. Oh, golly, thanks, Daddy. <laughs> well, of course, you have all your friends over, especially this fella, um, Rocky. Oh, Rocky? Oh, sure, I'll ask her first. <laughs> Like Corliss is a step ahead of Mr. Archer. Time was when he could scold her and mold her and she'd cry on his shoulder. But now she's older and bolder and the poor man can't hold her. <laughs> oh, hiya, Mr. Archer. I was just... I... Holy cow! Well, Dexter, what do you think? What a mess. But maybe we can get it cleaned up before the party. Dexter. <laughs> I fixed the room up this way for the party. Oh. Oh, well, you didn't have to knock yourself out like that, Mr. Archer. Well, I want us all to have a lot of fun. Us? Mm-hmm. Corliss hasn't had a real party for a long time, and tonight I want us all to have fun. All of us? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> what? No, wait till you see this. Oh, Dexter, I tell you, we'll have fun. We'll, will? 
Yes, tonight is going to be one party you kids won't forget in a long time. Don't worry, Mr. Archer. I, us kids recover faster than you think. <laughs> did my nails, too. Hmm, very nice job. Be careful you don't smear them. I just saw everything you made in the kitchen. Gosh, it looks positively dreamy. Oh, Mom, you're the best. Oh, thank you, dear. I just wanted to make sure that you had a nice party. Ah, I think we should serve the punch first. Say about, uh, 8.30? We'll serve the punch. Yes. I think you should help a little. After all, it is your party. I see. Do you think that this dress will be all right for tonight? <laughs> oh, I think it's perfect, Mom. Good. <laughs> well, now let's see. At 9 o'clock, you can serve the popcorn and candy. Oh, good. And I'll still be serving the punch. Oh, these nails take forever to dry, and I only have another hour before the kids come. Let's see. I'm going to serve hors d'oeuvres at 9.30. Cheese and crackers at 10. More punch at uh, 10.15. You know how kids like punch at parties. Uh, ice cream and cake at 10.30. I have a feeling I've forgotten something. I wonder what it is. I know I've forgotten something. Oh, well. Ah, the nails are dry. Let me see yours. Well, now I know what I've forgotten. At 11.30, I'm going to serve little hot dogs on toothpicks. <laughs> Mrs. Archer certainly intends the kids at the party to be well fed. She must think kids come to parties to eat. And you know something? She's right. <laughs> Holy cow, Corliss. Your father thinks we're a bunch of kids. He wants to run the party. And the games he wants to play. Pin the tail on the donkey. Dexter, Daddy wouldn't think of anything that childish. You must be exaggerating, because Daddy was... Excuse wasn't... me, kids. I just remembered I had some magic stuff up in the attic. Nothing like a few card tricks to get a party going. Pardon me, children. I want to see how the cake is doing. Oh, Carl, maybe we should serve the cake and ice cream at 10 o'clock, because the parents might get worried if the children are out too late. Your mother, too. She still looks upon me as a little girl. She doesn't realize I'm old enough to take care of my own party. Gangway! <laughs> How's this, Richard? <laughs> Kids will love it, won't they? <laughs> well, we gotta do something about this. Oh, I'd better get the paper plates. The kids are likely to break the good ones. Excuse me. <laughs> I forgot my water spreading rose. All the things your father's planning, we're lucky if we get out of here alive. Oh, Dexter, what am I going to do? I can't tell Mom and Daddy they can't come to the party. How can I tell them that? Corliss, you open your mouth and you say, Folks, I want to run my own party. Why don't you go out tonight? See, it all comes from here. Dexter, <laughs> you're no help at all. How can I tell them? Look, Dexter, you tell Daddy that you think I'm older now and that I should be the hostess tonight. Then he'll tell Mom. And I'll tell Mom to tell Daddy that I think you should be the host tonight. Then they'll tell each other, and they won't be heard because it didn't come from us. This isn't going to be easy. No, I guess you're right. We'll skip the whole thing and let them run the party. <sighs> Harry, maybe I ought to call Mrs. Livingcott to come over tonight. She knows five operas and translates them into English as she sings. It's very interesting. Yeah, and I'll call Jerry. Uh, Jerry Hotchkiss. He does wonderful bird calls. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, I... Yes, Carly? Well, um... Yes? Well, it, it's about the party. Oh, dear, I understand, but you don't have to thank me. Yeah, Mr. Wait, Archer, hello, Dexter. Kids <laughs> <laughs> will love that, won't they? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Archer. Uh, yes, Dexter? Uh, Mr. Archer, I want to talk to you about something. Uh, yeah, what? The party. Oh, 
You know, if I have as much fun at this party as I had planning it, this will be one of the happiest nights of my life. Mom, it isn't that we don't want Daddy at the party, or appreciate all that he's planned, but, well, we felt that, well, we're older now, and, and I think Dexter should be the host. So you see, Mr. Archer, um, well, Carlos is very hurt because Mrs. Archer doesn't think she's old enough to handle her own party. Mm -hmm. What it all boils down to is, well, Carla should be the hostess. Oh, Carlos, after all the planning he's done, how can I tell your father he shouldn't come to the party? It's going to be tough on Mrs. Archer. But you'll have to face the facts. Corliss is old enough to be hostess at her own party. It's going to be difficult. But your father's got to face facts. You're right. Dexter should be host. <laughs> now, how will I tell her? She'll be so hurt. How am I going to tell him? He'll be so so. <laughs> I have the solution, Dexter. You tell Mrs. Archer. <laughs> I have the solution, Corliss. You tell your father. Uh, Mrs. Archer, uh, Mr. Archer has something to tell you. Uh, Daddy, uh, Mom has something to tell you. Well, you going to say something? Uh, Janet, when a woman grows older, her child grows older. Well, her husband grows older. <laughs> True, of course. <laughs> that generally follows. Well, the point is that when the child grows older, she doesn't need what she needed as much as she needed what she needed <laughs> well, when she was younger. <laughs> I think so. Now, Janet, sit down. Uh, Janet. Uh, Janet, didn't you have something you wanted to say to me? It will keep. Go ahead, dear. Oh, it'll keep, dear. You go ahead. But you're doing so well. Oh, I think if you have something to say, you should say it. That's right, Harry. Well, then, why don't you say what you have to say to me? Uh, oh, well, do you remember when we were kids and the parties we used to have? Yeah. Well, do you remember my father and your father at those parties? Oh, I sure do. Those corny card tricks and the gags and the games they used to make us play. Exactly. I remember trying to get up the courage to ask my father to go bowling or something or... <laughs> they didn't want to hurt you, but... That's all right. Oh, Harry. When you come back from bowling, if I finished with the dishes, maybe we can go to a late movie. Janet. Yes, dear? Do you remember I had something to say to you? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, Janet, do you remember your mother at those parties and how she used to take over everything and the way you used to feel about it? <laughs> this is going to be. The refreshments are all ready. All we have to do is just sit around and enjoy our party. And nobody's going to run it but us. Yeah. You know, it makes you feel almost normal. <laughs> this is going to be fun. The best party ever. Mom, there's somebody at the... I forgot. It's our party, Dick. Yeah. <laughs> do you realize this is the first time we've been host and hostess? It's just like being married. Yeah. You know, Corliss, we're pretty lucky. If your mother and father hadn't had you and my mother and father hadn't had me, we might never have met. <laughs> hi! Hi! Hey, hey, hey. Bob and Pat, hey, come hey, on in. Looks like we're the first ones here. Oh, yeah, but... Hey. Hi, 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 h
you do it yourself, then? Well, I thought it wasn't much. Hey, when you kids put on a party, you really put on a party. Gee, I'm glad you like it. Well, what's everybody standing up for? Come on, it's a party. Sit down. Let's get out of Oh. This is wonderful, isn't it? No parents, just us. Yeah. You know, it's a funny thing about parents. The minute they have children, they start acting like mothers and fathers. <laughs> Dexter has yet to realize how important parents are. The word parent comes from the Latin pay, meaning shell out, and rendus, meaning tear. So a parent is somebody who tears his hair when he thinks of all the money he has to shell out. <laughs> around the block five times already. Don't you think we should go somewhere? Oh, sure, sure, but there's so many places to go. I was just wondering where we... Uh, you're having a good time, isn't it? Bet you Dexter's doing my card tricks. <laughs> what should we do? It's 9 o'clock and we really shouldn't come back until 12. No, we'll do the town. Nightclubs, theaters. Worry. Shouldn't be peeking, Harry. We are having a nice time, aren't we? Isn't it wonderful? I wonder which one is Winky. Probably the one with Rocky. Which one is Rocky? <laughs> well, we better be going. Yes, I guess we better. We can't just stand here all night. No, I guess we can't. Oh, uh, it, it isn't what you think, officer. Uh, you see, we live here. This, this is Mrs. Archer. I'm Harry Archer. I have my credentials. Uh, it, uh, they're they're uh, in order, I assure you. It's they're my wallet. Oh, we better be going. singing. Of course, it isn't really harmony singing. Actually, it isn't close to harmony. As a matter of fact, it isn't even singing. Harry, hmm? what time is it now? Two minutes after ten. Only two minutes after ten? Two and a half minutes. Oh. Harry. Oh. 
three minutes after ten. Well, at least it's less than two hours to go. Yeah, but if you get your mind off the clock, I think you'd find the time pass more quickly. I'm cold. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, officer, I, I know this looks like what it looks like, but uh, we weren't making love. We're married. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife was cold, you see. Uh, uh, that's all. Uh, we're married. Um, we'll go quietly, officer. Oh, before you turn off your flashlight, please. <laughs> Seven minutes after ten. Thank you, officer. Don't you? Oh, here you are, gang. <laughs> Boy, the way they're eating out there, you think they had charge accounts. Well, you better make some more punch while I finish filling up this platter. They're drinking punch out there like it was made out of water. Now, how's the party going? Oh, it's a wonderful party you're giving. You'd be proud of yourself if you were there. <laughs> Golly, Dex, there's no more sandwich spread left for the sandwiches. Well, these crackers will have to do. Here, take the platter out. Okay, uh, I'll take this punch, too. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> no. Every little bit counts, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Dexter, where'd you get that platter? That's the platter I just took out there. <laughs> now what? You know, Carlos, maybe we should try making some mucilage meatballs. At least that'd stick to their ribs. <laughs> Corliss better find something to eat, and soon. Because the way those kids are going, any minute now, they're liable to start gnawing on each other. Walk another step. My feet are killing me. Mine, too. What time is it now? Ten minutes after 11. Almost an hour to go. Mm. We won't be home until morning. We won't be home until morning. We won't be... <laughs> Officer, I know what you're thinking. But believe me, we haven't been drinking, I assure you. Go on, Janet. We better be getting along home. Oh, no. Fill everything up again. There isn't anything left. Oh, and I'm so tired. Oh, I didn't know the kids must think I'm awful. I haven't had any fun, and neither of you. Oh, I'm so miserable. Carlos, oh, what's the matter? Oh, Mom. Oh, everything went wrong. There isn't anything left. Oh, I'm so tired. And, oh, Mom. There, there, baby. Oh, boy, am I glad to see you, Mr. Archer. Boy, oh, boy, am I glad. Boy, oh, boy, I've never been so I'm glad. glad I'm glad to see you, too. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Now, Corliss, you dry your eyes and go on inside with Dexter and enjoy yourself. And, Harry, mm -hmm. I bought a lot of extra groceries this afternoon and put them in the closet there, just in case. Okay. Get them, will you? Okay. <laughs> now, go on, you two. Get them. Oh. oh, golly, Mom, you're wonderful. That goes double for me, Mrs. Archer. And yeah, Mrs. Archer. Yes? <laughs> well, here are your groceries. What do you want me to do now? Go inside and find out what everyone wants. Right. Four sandwiches and some more punch. Coming right up. And Harry. Yes. Isn't it a lovely party? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you done enough for one evening? Well, it's been worth it. Corliss's party was a huge success. Yes. And she's found that she still needs her old mom and pop. Oh, golly, everything's all done. I don't know how you did it. Boy, what a clean-up job. Where are you two going? Oh, we thought we'd go out to Schroeder's. You know, for some air and a soda. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. I've been cooped up in here for hours. Yeah. Oh, gee, Mom. Well, we'd love to have you, but 
Well, all the kids were going together, and, and well, you know how it is. I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings for the world. 